Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So it's been a while since we've covered the collateral damage exploits for the Xbox One, but there have been several big improvements that have been made recently with a new script that can simplify the process of dumping your Xbox One games, as well as backing up your save files and other useful files from the console. So we're going to be taking a look at how to dump your Xbox One games using the collateral damage exploit with this new method, which is much, much easier. Technically, it's been possible to dump your game files for quite a while using the exploit, except it's required a hell of a lot of steps and it just becomes a bit too overcomplicated. And I didn't feel like making a guide on it really made sense at that point. But it's now been simplified to the point where it's now much, much easier to dump your game files. So that's what we're going to cover here in this video, especially since we now have a translation layer called Xwine 1, which can actually allow you to run some of your Xbox One game dumps on a Windows PC. So that is one new development. It's actually possible to run some of your game dumps now. It's still in the early process of development, so it's really just simple games that will run at the moment using Xwine 1. But we want to get as many people as possible to be dumping their games so that we can preserve those Xbox One games for the future, as well as also help in furthering the development of this translation layer to get more Xbox One games running on PC uh, using this method. So, and at the moment, the only way to actually dump your Xbox One games is to use the collateral damage exploit. Okay, so there's quite a few things we need to establish before we get started. First of all, you need to have the collateral damage exploit set up with the game script app. Obviously, if you don't already have the game script app on your Xbox One at this point, it's too late to uh, do this. And of course, if you don't have the collateral damage exploit set up yet, I do have a full tutorial that shows you how to set that up. So you need to make sure you have that ready before moving on to this video. But I'll leave a link to my full guide on how to set up the exploit down in the video description so that you can get set up to this point. Now, in order to actually dump your Xbox games, it requires an exploit in a save file for Warhammer Vermintide 2. So you do need to have a copy of the game Warhammer Vermintide 2 installed. Now, if you only have a disc copy of the game like I do, then you're only able to dump your digital games. So any digital Xbox One or Xbox 360 games that you have installed, you will be able to dump using Warhammer Vermintide 2, your disc copy, but you will not be able to dump any disc versions of your Xbox One games because, of course, you can't have both discs inserted at the same time. So the best possible scenario would be if you actually have a digital copy of Warhammer Vermintide 2 already installed that you bought previously on your console. Then you're in a great position because you can dump not only digital games, but also uh, your disc games as well. Any disc Xbox One games that can run offline, you'll be able to dump them using this. So yeah, that would be the best case scenario. But for most people, I think you'll probably end up with a disc copy and then you'll only be able to dump any digital games that you have already installed on your Xbox One. So those are the limitations at the moment. Those are the prerequisites for the setup. So let's go ahead and get into actually setting this up. So, so I'm basing this guide from consolemods.org, this guide here. So I'll leave it linked down in the video description. We wanna go down here and download the Xbox One game dumping pack version 2.1.zip. Or the latest version here. We also want to download the .NET 6.0 binary for Windows. We're going to download that as well. And finally, we also need to download PowerShell 7.2.3. So you'll find the download here. I'll leave them linked in the description for the .NET SDK, PowerShell version 7.2.3, and of course, the uh, link to the dumping pack as well will all be down in the video description. We need to go ahead and format a USB drive. So plug a USB drive into your computer and back up any data that was on it previously and then right click and reformat the drive. So go to format and then we want to select the file system as NTFS and then just make sure you have it formatted in NTFS format here. And then from there, we're going to go into the USB drive, extract the Xbox One game dumping pack to your computer and then go into that folder. And then from here, we're going to go into the copy to USB flash drive folder and take all the files inside here and drag and drop them and copy them to the root of the USB drive. Okay, so once we have all the files copied over to the USB drive, we're then going to open up the .NET SDK and we're gonna highlight all of the files in here and drag and drop them into the .NET folder on the USB drive. So we just wanna copy all of those. This will take a while. This is quite big, a lot of different files in here. So just give this a few minutes to complete. Okay, so now we have all of the .NET files copied into the .NET folder. We're going to do the same thing with PowerShell. So we're going to open up the PowerShell zip file, highlight everything in here, and we're going to copy that over to the PWSH folder. So extract PowerShell to PWSH. 
and get that copied over. It's important that you are downloading the PowerShell version that is for win-x64.zip and not any of the other uh, Windows versions of PowerShell. Okay, there we go. So now PowerShell has been copied into the PWSH folder. So you want to make sure that you've loaded Warhammer Vermintide 2 at least once so that you've created a save file. So you've gone into the campaign, so it's created a save file automatically that we will be replacing with our exploit code. So make sure you've done that first. Then we want to make sure we're also connected to a network. Obviously, we don't want to connect to the internet, which would patch the exploit and force you to update. So you want to make sure that you're connected to an offline network, that your computer and your Xbox are connected to the same network. All of that is covered in my main exploit guide for setting up the collateral damage exploits, which will be linked down in the video description if you haven't already got everything set up. So at this point, we can go back into the Xbox One game dumping pack. We can run the game script reverse shell remote.bat to load the exploit. This will run the server as well as the listener for our remote shell. Then if we head back onto the Xbox, we're going to run the game script application and then make sure you have the collateral damage exploit set up in here. You also want to make sure that you have the host IP address set to the IP address of your computer on the network. So make sure that you have your computer's IP address entered in here. And then from there, we can hold down X and press RB to go down to Windows and then scroll down to show code run window and press A on run code once and that will try and load the exploit. And then you're just going to wait for hopefully something to appear here. So we should get a connection request on the server. And then hopefully if the exploit loads successfully, we'll get the remote shell. So this can take several attempts to run. You may have to reboot the Xbox a couple of times if it fails. And uh, yeah, you just got to keep trying until we get this running. Once we get this running once, we can actually use the new script, the new menu script to actually swap out the exploit with a more reliable version. Uh, which we will be doing and oh there we go connection request we've got our listener and yep there we go success so that was actually quite lucky it sometimes takes several attempts for that to work but as you can see we now have our reverse shell so we're all set up here the next step is to run the power shell so make sure you have the usb drive plugged in to the xbox at this time and we're going to do d colon backslash pwsh to run powershell so we're going to press enter and that should run the PowerShell. There we go. Version 17.3.4. And there it is. So at this point, we want to run the menu script that is going to automate everything for us. So we're going to do dot backslash run dot PS1 and press enter. Now, if you run into this particular error, it says cannot sign the file because the system does not support signing operations. Uh, what you want to do is use this command here, which I will leave in the video description. Just enter this command, copy and paste it from the description of this video in here and press enter. And then once that's done, we can re-enter the previous command and press enter. And that should run the menu. So here we go. This is the automated system that's going to allow us to do things much more efficiently here. So at this point, there's a few things we want to do. I highly recommend using option U to upgrade the game script reverse shell from remote to local. The remote version that we've just been using that uses this server to send the files is pretty unreliable compared to the local version, which will copy the files to the internal storage and it will run them from there. Uh, so the next time you load the exploit, uh, it will be a lot more stable, a lot more reliable, uh, less likely to run into problems. So make sure you do that first. So uppercase U, press enter, and then it'll say, please enter your PC's IP address. So if you don't know what that is, just open up a command prompt and type in IP config and grab the IP address of your computer on the same network that the Xbox is connected to. So in my case, 192.168.2.178. So I'll enter that in here, 192.168.2.178, and then press enter. And that should do it. There we go. Please close and reopen game script now. Press enter to return to menu. So I'll press enter to return to menu. I'm not going to close and reopen the game script at the moment because we're still uh, going to get things set up for dumping. This now means that whenever you want to load the exploit again in future, you're going to want to run the game script reverse shell dot bat instead of the remote version. So always run the reverse shell version now that we have the local version of the exploit installed. So the next thing we're going to do is select option number one to mount storage and press enter and get that going. There we go. Press enter to return to menu. 
Okay, so then we want to use option three to back up our licenses. So option three, press enter. So there we go, licenses backed up, press enter to return to menu. Then we want to enter option six, which is to back up the license state. So we're gonna do that, press enter. Now this one can actually take some time. So you're gonna to have to wait a little while for this to complete. So it gets to 100%, but the last time I did this, it was stuck at 100% for about two minutes. Okay, there we go. So once it's done, press enter to continue. And that's copied to the D drive, press enter to return to menu. And there we go. So uh, some optional things you can do right now that I would probably recommend is option number two to back up your save files, backing up your registry number four and backing up your NAND number five. You can do this if you don't already have backups of these. They're not required for the actual dumping of games, but it is just a good idea to have a backup of those, especially your save files if you want to modify your save files in future. For now, we can then move on to the next step, which is to use option I to inject the exploit script into the Vermintide 2 save file. So we're going to use option I for that and press enter. Enter your PC's IP address again. So mine was 192.168.2.178. We'll press enter. Enter the port. It says default is 8123. So we'll just use the default one, 8123. Press enter. And there we go. That is now injected the modified save file into Vermintide 2 for dumping the games. And that is now complete. And finally, we're going to use option one to unmount the storage now that we have got that modified save file on there. So enter option one and press enter. And that will unmount successfully. And we can press enter again to return to the menu. So at this point, we're ready to dump the game. So in order to do this, we need to select what type of game we're dumping. We can see in the dumping options here, we've got load Xbox One slash series digital license. Um, we've also got a disc license. We also have Xbox original or 360. So let's say we were doing a digital game. So I would select option seven, press enter. And then this will give me all of the available licenses for all the games I have installed. So if I had a digital copy of, say, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, I would enter option three as the game I want to dump and press enter. And then it would give me all of the necessary information, including the CID, which is the content ID, which you are going to want to copy. And as you can see here, it says no matching key found. That's because this is a disc game, not a digital game. So that's why that failed. But if you have a digital game, that should work successfully. And you want to just copy the content ID here. Uh, as well and take a note of that. Now, if we're dumping a disc game, uh, let's say I was trying to dump a disc game, I've got uh, CTR Nitro Fueled entered, I've got the disc inserted in my console right now, then I would use option eight to dump that game, a disc copy, and we'll press enter. And you can see here it is loading the license file. Um, so if you had a digital game before, this is what it would have done, I presume. So as you can see, it, this was a success because I've got the disc inserted and it gives me the content ID, which again is the same CID that we got uh, from a digital game. So you want to take a note of that, right click and copy it. So highlight it, right click to copy it so that you have a copy of the content ID because that is very important. So at this point, what we're going to do is go back into our Xbox One game dumping pack. We're going to go into the to dump folder here. And inside here, we're going to open up the stage2.lua file. So right click and edit that in Notepad. Two things we want to change in here, the server IP. We want to enter the IP address of our computer again in here, which for me again was 2.178. So we'll enter that in there. Next, we want to go to the local target XVD path. And we want to change the content ID in here with the one that we just copied for the game that we want to dump. So we're going to enter that there, whether you got that from the CID from the uh, digital game that you're trying to dump or the disc game, if you used option eight, copy that content ID in there and then press control S to save and you should be good to go there. Okay, and at this point, if we go back into the dumping pack, the last thing we want to run is the Warhammer dump game dot bat. So we're going to double click on this and allow this to run. You may get multiple firewall prompts saying, do you want to allow, allow access to it? You can just say yes. So this opens three command windows. We're listening on three ports. So if we switch back over to our console once more, we should be all good to go here. So all we're going to do is just press the Xbox button here and go down to Vermintide 2 and launch it. So once we get to the press A to start, so press A to start game. As soon as we press A, it's going to load the exploit on the save file. So we press A. 
and the game should just freeze at this point because it's loading the exploit instead of loading a proper save file. And now all we do is we wait for some uh, data to appear in one of these listeners, which will then allow us to see if it's loaded successfully, if we've set everything up successfully. So, oh, there we go. Yep, there it is right there. We can see some information popping up. Now, as you can see, in my case, it's failed. And unfortunately, I don't have any games that I'm able to dump because I, ha I only have a disc copy of Warhammer Vermintide 2, which only allows me to dump digital games. And I don't have any digital games installed on this um, Xbox. So unfortunately, there's nothing I can actually dump to demonstrate this completely. But you can see it started the process of trying to dump it. it the only thing it failed on was with the license file. Uh, so you can see here the xcred mount failed with error because the disk is no longer inserted that has the license on it uh, and the files. So unfortunately, I'm not able to go any further, but you can see it was attempting to dump the game there. And what you should see if you do have a game that you actually can dump, then what you should see if you go into the to dump folder is it should create a TX folder in here. I'm a bit concerned that there isn't a TX folder already in here. Hopefully it creates it for you. Otherwise, you might have to actually create it first before running uh, the bat file. But what it should do is it should go into the TX folder and it should dump all of the game files in here. And you should be seeing in some of these other command windows, you should be seeing uh, the progress showing each file that is being copied. And eventually you'll get all of the game files dumped in here. And then what I would recommend doing is once it's finished dumping all of the game files into, the, into this folder, you should make a backup of that folder, uh, dump the game a second time just to make sure that they are the same. Uh, generally, you want to make sure that, you know, you take at least two dumps of the game to make sure all of the files were copied over successfully. So that is the process of dumping your Xbox One games. I felt like it was important to make this video despite the fact that I know a lot of people will not be able to do this because they don't have the game script app. Um, or they don't have Vermintide 2 or a digital copy or any games that they can actually dump with a physical copy of Vermintide 2. So it is still pretty limited in what you can actually dump depending on your situation uh, with the Xbox. But because there's so few people out there that are actually capable of dumping Xbox One games using this method, I feel like it's important to try and get as many people that, that actually do have the ability to do this uh, dumping their games so that we can preserve Xbox One games into the future. And having more game dumps available should aid in the efforts of improving the translation layer XWine 1 for running your Xbox One games on a Windows PC, uh, which would also be a great benefit for the community. So hopefully it helps some people out and can help get more games dumped for the future. And of course, huge props to all of the developers involved in simplifying the dumping process and creating this script for allowing us to easily back up all of the necessary stuff from our Xbox. And hopefully this can be expanded for making things easier like installing emulators and homebrew in the near future. So anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video.